Mineral news update coming through. Uh, not so good for the Dragons fans. Young Talatau Mone, uh, and keeping in mind too that they've let Bud Sullivan go, young Jaden yep. Sullivan. Yep. Talatau Mone has been found guilty on assault charges this morning in relation to an incident that occurred late last year in Wollongong. Mone will remain on bail and face sentencing in December. So the Dragons club statement is this. The Dragons acknowledge the guilty verdict handed down to player Talatau Mone in Wollongong Court today in relation to an assault last November. Uh, some call him Talatau Mone, others Amon. Uh, as a result of this outcome, Amon has been stood down from all club activities until further notice. The club will make no further comment at this time as court proceedings continue. So they've got to know that process, haven't they, the Dragons, unfortunately. Uh, the Dragons' options to partner Ben Hunt in the halves, Jack Bird perhaps, Kyle Flanagan perhaps, should the Dragons go after Jerome Luai. What Do you see Jerome Luai leaving the Panthers' sock? Potentially, yes. Yep. I, and I think for reasons that you've explained, I think the Panthers won't be that desperate to hold him because you've seen how well Nathan Cleary can play with Cogger. Mm. Um, and, you know, Jerome, I think, might be going somewhere to maybe get a bit of extra cash and prove that he's, you know, he's just as effective. Well, Cogger's uh, gone. You know, Cogger's gone. Sorry, Cogger's gone, yeah. Yes, okay. but, but, but he's shown that he yes, can, can work with him. Yeah. Can work uh, with, with those not named Luai. Ezra Mam yeah. as well is on the open market. Yes. But he's probably... You know, then you've got two players in your halves. On okay, this so million dollar player. Okay, so if if this is a horse sale ring, and both they trot out for the National Rugby League, they trot out Ezra Mam and they trot out Jerome Loy. I know there's some recency bias given the grand final that both had, but what do you actually think? Who would fetch? What sort of price would each fetch? I'd be. I'd. I'd think Ezra's a million dollar player, and I don't think Jerome's quite there. Right. That's just. My thoughts, not taking anything away from. And you, Jerome. would you have answered similarly before the grand final? I wouldn't have answered that way before the start of the season. No, but the stocks have been just growing in Ezra Mam. Yeah, you know his age, twenty, and how effect, how amazing that grand final performance was. Um, and as I said, I think it just highlighted. He also had to play a lot of football without Adam Reynolds, and showed how effective he was. You know, I just don't think Jerome's. The same quality player. That's just my opinion. How okay. are you seeing it, Sure. Uh, yeah. I'm, I'm, okay. So I think that Cleary's best football was played with Cogger, but this is not at all in any way demeaning Jerome Law. I reckon the best football we've ever seen from Nathan Cleary was the 80 minutes that he played in that first semi final against the Warriors, and then and then the, the half of football he had with Cogger. Right. So so that's what I think. But, but in saying that, it doesn't take anything away from Jerome Lua. I, I just think that Cleary is just a better player when he's the absolute controller. Yeah. You know, whereas because Jerome's also quite a dominant player, that may may drag Nathan back a little bit. But who do you think would be if you had to play with a junior half? Who would you want standing next to him, Ezra Mam or Jerome Lua? You got an inexperienced. Oh half? well, next to Cleary. No, if you have got an inexperienced halfback and you're going for a five eight. Who are you going for? You're going for Luai, the guy's a bit more, oh, you know, zigzaggy, jagging in and out, yeah. or are you going for a little bit more? If I know? was a young half, I'd rather play with Ezra purely because Jerome is, you know, more established and he jumps around and he's, he's just a more dominant player. Yep. So therefore, you know, can you come in and take the, it'd be hard to come in and take the reins and really run the show. Mm -hmm. um, just on Luai, if you were advising Jerome Luai, so clearly he's going to have to take less to stay at Penrith. The tax man's going to grab half of it, so you've got to factor that in. What's the discrepancy that would be enough to make you go, nah, I have to leave? How much would it have to be? What would the bid have to be per year above Penrith for you to leave that group you're with? Be 50% more than what I'm getting. Right. So if he's going to get 800 at Penrith, yep. you'd need to get 1.2. Because I think the legacy that he can have at Penrith and what I think they're going to achieve over the next five years far outweighs that as a cash point of view. Because if you go three flags and they turn that into five, yep. that's your career set for life, wherever you want to go. You'll ever, forever be known as the, the combo that, you know, is yep. unmatched in the game of football, some might say. So, you know. Tourist, you nearly fell off your chair. I did, and then Sock did a brilliant job of turning me around. And absolutely, you're absolutely right there. I thought, wow, that's so much money. Then I was like, okay, what number is it? In my head, I went a million. I was like, an extra 200 grand, mm. which becomes 100 grand, yep. to not be part of the greatest team of all time and not 
play with your friends and not mm. be with the people who you like every single day of the year. Mm. When you're already making that much, yeah, socks absolutely done me there. And Couldn't quite, quite often you can spend what you got, right? And and the other thing is too, it's not just the next contract. So at the completion of, say it's a four-year deal, what does that next contract look like because you stayed where you are? Maybe maybe you go better elsewhere. What would you? What would be the discrepancy for you, Brooksy? That to stay at to Penrith leave. How much extra? So so let's just use eight hundred. If they if he's been offered eight hundred at Penrith, how much extra would you want? Would need to make the decision to go? Okay, at that price, I've got to go. It's not just the money too. It's the it's the duration of the contract for me too. If Penrith offering me, let's say three year eight hundred, I would want probably 1.1 five year. I want longevity and I want yep. more money to mm. leave the Panther system because you feel like he's going to continue to play for Samoa. You know that the money's getting better in international football. So, you know, if you're in that system and you're partnering with Nathan Cleary, you're going to have success. Mm. Like the Panthers are going to be a top four team for the next two, three years. And then you look at the junior system and you go, you know what? There's probably going to be young guys that are going to come in and fill those positions where people are going to leave the Panthers and go to other teams. I want to be part of that Edwards Cleary 167. I know I've got young guys like Liam Martin. I know I've got a leader like Isaiah Yo, Fisher Harris, Moses Leota that are going to be there for three, four years. But you look at it too, gents. I think he's going to be offered quite a bit. I think the Dragons have to go all in on either Mam or Luai. With what's gone on, you were mentioning before, Shug, that there's been bad press over the last, let's say, five years since they had a really good run in the finals under Mary where they nearly knocked over South to get into a prelim. They rolled over the Broncos up at Suncorp. There's been bad press, bad results, coaching changes, Mary... Seabold gone. We've finally got Flanagan, a premiership winner. I think Lancaster and Wynn and everyone on board has to go get that franchise player to at least give one year with Ben Hunt and to show fans that they want some success and they want people who have been to grand finals, who have represented their country or their area and go, you know what, Dragons fans, we're going to have a star halves combination in 2025. Okay. So I know wages are going up and, and, and the next contracts for these players may, may go up also. Um, Letzer from Penrith says oh, he thinks they need to go 200000 a year up. Um, Mitch says Tigers have offered Luai 1.2 per season. I hope not. I, I really hope not. Uh, n- not. Nothing against Luai, but not 1.2. Come on. Kalen Pong is on 1.4. Is Jerome Luai that close as an influence to Kalen Ponga? No, but it, sometimes you might have to pay that, as Brooks is saying, to get – you might have to pay a bit overs to to say right. Well, this is this is the statement that your club wants to make, you know. And then hopefully maybe the pieces start falling in a bit better. So to get that quality player, you might have to go over. What's he worth? I don't know. Like a million dollars, you know, maybe eight to a million, three premierships in a row. What is that worth? I think it's worth one point two for the Dragons to pick him up and play with Ben Hunt. Exactly what you're saying. And I think that is overs, but I think yeah. the club should pay that to get that quality there. Okay, let me ask you this. So a team who I think desperately need a gun six, but I'm banking on Cade Dykes to get there. I think he can get there. Um, would the Sharks have – where? how far would the Sharks have gone last year with Jerome Luai? Do they make the grand final with Jerome Luai? I'd say they'd do better. Yeah. Because that's, that's, that's a question yeah, – that's a type of question I think you need to ask yeah, yourself. that's a good point. You know – They've got a lot of the other pieces to the puzzle. Nathan Cleary's on 1.3, according to GQ. Munster's on 1.25. <laughs> Daly Cherry Evans on 1.2. Luke Brooks, 1.15. That won't be the case next year, of course. That was the 2023 salary. 1.15, Tommy Trebojevic. 1.1, Ben Hunt. James Tedesco, 1.1. Fanua Blake, 1.05. Mitch Moses, the same. So that's your million-dollar club. Payne Haas. He'd have to be up there. Uh, no, he's not not in that list yet. Just yeah. yet, but he, he's soon to be in that list, I would think. Uh, keep them coming through. One three hundred oh one eleven seventy. AP says, "Don't forget, boys. Penrith have Jet Cleary as a junior coming yeah. through. Uh, that's got to be on Luai's mind." Cheers says AP. Uh, and there was another one there. Hey boys, a cons- pure conspiracy theory. How far off is Nathan Cleary's younger brother talking about Jet? And could they be setting up to have both Cleary boys in the same team? Cheers says Fadge. 
<laughs> and uh, Pedro's underestimating you because he said I heard Socky's on one point two. Now you're a bit low there. No, no, Pedro. Look, there's one and two in the in the in the contract. That's just, <laughs> that's just a comma. Right? <laughs> it's a comma. It's a comma in between the two. Uh, this one, Plum Life text in. He said, "Have I missed the Ross dog? Uh, we ran right at TAFE. Pray for Mister Minogue." Yeah. Okay, well, right, eh? well, why don't you, you haven't missed him? Don't you give us a call when when the Ross dog comes on? Um, give us a call and you can reacquaint yourself with the great man um, when we catch up with the Ross dog. Which is it about? What time, Brooks? Uh, five thirty. Five thirty. Five thirty. So we look forward to that. It's a run home with Joel and Sock on your. What are we up to? Wednesday. Mm. Wednesday on the run home with Joel <laughs> or Sock. Uh, it's a run home now. Give us a text one three hundred oh one eleven seventy to call. Text oh four five seven seven three six. 736. Andrew says DCS new contract was about 750000 a year. Well, that's great signing for Manly there. No question about that. It is the run home with Joel and Fletch.